Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a reboot of Tech I Like. Now this is a series I was doing earlier this year, and I got a lot of comments saying, hey, where did it go? So what we're going to be doing is something just a little bit different this time. Instead of doing a new video every week and just kind of any kind of cool tech that I felt like doing, instead we're going to be doing stuff that I actually use pretty much on a daily basis. So whether it's going to be my phone, my tablet, my camera, computer, anything cool and tech that I use all the time, I might make a video on. So today we're going to start with the Samsung Galaxy S3, my daily driver of a phone. So let's get started. Even though it isn't the newest phone out, I still think the Galaxy S3 is one of the best smartphones period. The design has held up very well over the last few months, and even though it's made out of plastic, it still feels premium. This is the Pebble Blue version on Verizon, which is my main carrier, but I've also done some customizing. First of all, I flashed a custom ROM, Cyanogen Mod 10. This brings Android 4.1 as well as a basically unskinned interface. I'm a big fan of stock Android, and while this is still a nightly build with a fair share of bugs, I prefer it over running stock on Ice Cream Sandwich. It's the best of both worlds for me, the great Galaxy S3 hardware paired with Nexus levels of customization. If you're interested in doing this to your Galaxy S3, be prepared though, it's a pretty major pain to install. On top of CM10, I'm running Nova Launcher Prime. This is a fairly standard launcher at first glance, which will allow you to customize your home screen, app drawer, and the overall look and feel, but where it sets itself apart is with gesture support. Just like on OS X, you can set it to use a two finger swipe to open your apps, a swipe down to open your notifications, or even a swipe up to open Google Now. It's totally customizable and definitely worth a look. I've also sideloaded Flash Player, which comes in handy sometimes if I want to view the odd Flash video using Firefox. A hidden gem is definitely Battery Widget Reborn Pro. It's part widget that you can resize for your home screen or dock, which allows you to jump into your battery usage quickly, but it's also a notification. Swipe down and you can see how much charge is left and how long your battery should last, which is really helpful. I also use Zuper Widget Pro. This is an incredibly customizable widget that allows you to put all kinds of info on your home screen. It's not the most user friendly thing in the world, but spend some time with it and you can load weather, system info, time and date, and much more into a simple widget. Pop the back off and you'll see I've got a 32GB SanDisk microSD card. With only 16GB of storage on the phone, I use this mostly for backups as well as for music, pictures, and video. Something else that saves me a ton of time is this nano SIM adapter. I'm constantly churning through phones to review, so this allows me to use my phone number and data in whatever Verizon phone I need. Now it's time for you guys to tell me what kind of tech you like. So all you need to do is jump over to Twitter and use the hashtag tech I like. So you can tell me about a custom PC you use, maybe a cool Mac setup, a custom Android phone, it doesn't really matter. If it's something cool and something tech that you like, go ahead and send it in, and who knows, you might even be featured on a new episode of tech I like. Anyway guys, that's going to be about it. If you want to keep up with me, you can follow me on Twitter at Duncan33303 as well as on Facebook, Google+, all the links will be in the description below. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and I still don't have an outro. Yeah, this is not an outro and I can't stop.